right, so in this video, I am going to show you guys what is in my um, third graders um, work boxes. Well, I say third grade, but she's working on third and fourth grade um, subjects right now. So, um, but anyways, here is what is in her work boxes. So, and the first work box is Bible. She has where she works on one of these every day. And let's see. So, I know yesterday we talked about um, offering and tithes, and then we did this day two. So, then today she will be working on day three. Check your attitude. And then also for Bible, she is working on these memory verses. And she also has her Psalm 23 that she's trying to memorize. And the second work box, which is for journal, she has her journal. We do these about once or twice a week. She marks them off as she does them. So then her next journal will be write about a crazy dream you had. And where did you go and what did you do? So she will write about that there and then she will draw a picture to go with it. Oh, looks like her little spongebob look at cute <laughs> okay and then in her next one which is seat work slash homework um i just put their daily learning notebook um papers in here and that's where they basically um mark tally marks for the day so she will go to february and mark a tally mark and it is the 17th, so she will add the 17th to her calendar, and then she will mark what the weather is. So far, we've had more sunny days than anything. This is just her list of things that she wants to do this year. She's still working on filling that out, and some things she has already accomplished. And it's only February, so she's really excited about that. Um, this is basically... She practices her handwriting with that and then every month she has to write her name as neat as possible and it basically just shows you how much their handwriting has changed um, throughout the year I love doing these okay and that is so go ahead and that's the one she finished for January that's actually supposed to be in here okay I have to remind them a lot to turn in their work. Sometimes they'll just put it back in the work box, but that's fine too. And that's just a clipboard. They like to go work on their work in other places in the house. Um, and her number four work box, which is for science and health. We just started using this book, Human Body Systems and Health. Um, the last thing she did was section one. So then the next time she does science, she will be starting on section two, the skeletal system. And so what she does from each section, she has terms. She will write the terms and the definitions. And then she'll also go over the different figures. Um, so what I'll do is every day, I will write down the things that she needs to do on, um, on an index card. And that way she knows exactly what she needs to do. And she'll bubble in the circle after she's done doing what she needs to do. So that's her science there. And then for health, she is working on this test too. And she just needs to finish the back of that. So that's what she has for health. And this is her health book like that. She will be, let's see, the test two is on chapter three. So then... She will basically be going to chapter three to work on that test. And chapter three is about nutrients in you. So right now I let her use her book for her test, but I already told her once we start fourth grade health, she will not be allowed to use her book. So that way she can kind of, you know, get away from using the book to find her answers. She struggles with even finding the answer, so 
I'll be glad to move away from that part. So, um, in the number five work box, we have Matt. She has a speed drill that she needs to do. She needs to finish um, lesson 45 worksheet. Um, it usually takes her a while to do this, so I try to do these with her. And I work the problems on the board. And then she does one page out of this multiplication um, workbook. So she did that yesterday, so today she will do this page. And then she just has, uh, this is just where she likes to, she has her dry erase board here for when she just wants to work out problems. She has a ruler and her calculator, and I'm not sure why that's in there. <laughs> but that's her math, and she also will do extra math on the computer as well, on extramath.com. Um, her number six is reading and phonics. Right now, she is just reading, choosing a story in here, and Crossroads to read. Well, here we go. This is what she reads. So she has already done pages 2 through 7, but next one will be 8 through 12. And then she also has this reading comprehension test. It is timed. You have four and a half minutes. You have to read it and answer the questions on the back in four and a half minutes. She's awesome at those. Okay, and then for language arts and spelling, um, I don't make her do every single one because it is very repetitive. So, um, like here, she doesn't have to do the back, but she does have to do, she doesn't have to do top of the back, but she does have to do the bottom. And then she just does like the evens. So she has that. And then tomorrow she'll probably do the test. If she doesn't finish, like I said, she's a little a little slow doing her work sometimes. So it'll probably take her a while to get through those. I don't know. I think this is for her creative writing. I think one of the scratch papers in there. Um, also on here, she'll just be doing the even numbers only. And here we have her vocabulary worksheet. And those are her vocabulary words. And then... Alright, and then... Um, I have this in here, but she probably won't get to that until next week. Um, for spelling and poetry, we are on list 14. She has a few words left over from list 13 that we are still working on that she um, keeps getting wrong on her test. So we are adding that to this list. <laughs> no, excuse me. And so basically what I do, I take her words and I um, input them on um, spellingcity.com and then they play the games for, you know, a week or so. And then they'll take the test. And whatever words they don't get right will stay on the list. And then I'll just add the new words to there. So. She does about um, does about a list a week. And for history, she just has this map map skills worksheet that she needs to do. And then this is her history book. And for that, she has a quiz that she needs to complete. And it tells her what pages there are. And like I said, she is allowed to use the book for third grade history. But I already told her once we are done with this. Well, we still got a ways to go. It's taking us a little longer because we don't do history as much. We do it probably once a week if we get to it. But once I already told her once she was just fourth grade history, she will not be allowed to use the book. Um, work box number nine is for unit studies, which we aren't really doing any right now. So she just has her American uh, Heritage Girls uh, folder in there. And just some stuff that she likes. Her icky sticky chemistry set and some um, Spanish worksheets uh, just the, just odds and ends of stuff in there we really don't we're not the um, we are doing a unit study right now but it is um, it's a it's for black history month it's our motown unit study so and they don't really have anything they were doing. so um the last work box is number 10 and it's basically for writing and home ec. so basically 
She has lots of paper and a lot of writing worksheets. She'll just pick one out. And that's her American Heritage Girls handbook and more American Heritage Girls stuff in the bottom. So basically, uh, for handwriting, she'll either write her pen pals or she will do one of these worksheets. And that also takes her forever to do, but... <laughs> So it'll be a while before we get to the fourth grade one of that um pretty much everything that we are doing she is still um on third grade it's taken us a while to get through um all of our third grade curriculum only because um a lot of things slowed us down multiplication just got a little harder for her it's a third grade was a lot more challenging but um we are on fourth grade science right now and soon i will be um ordering her teaching textbooks uh, for math because the abeka isn't working out for us um so but that's what's in our third grade work boxes and we hope to see you guys later